here we are guys a valley view we've got the trail map over there trail rules and etiquette oh Check this e-bike out. So this is the Hao Chi Cheetah. So this is a full suspension e-bike. It's Hao Chi's flagship e-bike. It offers an outstanding range up to 85 miles, depending on which pedal assist level you're riding in and the conditions and all of that. The Cheetah is equipped with a dual suspension system. Oh. It ensures the ultimate riding experience. And that's what we're gonna experience today, boys. the ultimate riding experience. I'm gonna take the Hao Chi Cheetah on the Valley View mountain bike trail. We're gonna go ripping around on the cheetah. Have a fun time. First, I wanna tell you more about the bike. So we've got fat tires on the cheetah. So these are 26 by four inch fat tires. It's got a nice chunky knobby tread on them. So these tires should give us great traction out on a mountain biking trail. So there's difficult climbs. There's gonna be raw traction will be challenging. So we're gonna need these fat tires. Those tires give us excellent traction on rugged terrain. Be it mountain trails, snowy landscape, or sandy beaches. And we're gonna be able to maintain exceptional stability. The Cheetah is both comfortable and secure. It comes in two classic colors. We've got the carbon black, so that's what I've got here, the carbon black. And the carbon black exudes understated luxury. There's also the olive jungle green, and that blends in with nature, if that's more your style. I like both of them. And when you're riding the Cheetah, Brave exploration knows no bounds. You never need to stop the adventure. You just keep on ripping, boys. So let's check out the components on the Cheetah. Here's the specs straight from the How Chi website, guys, if you wanna pause the screen now and read those. So I think most importantly, we've got the 750 watt rear hub motor. So this is a brushless geared hub motor in the back on the Cheetah. So this is the geared hub motor. The Cheetah is waterproof and resistant to water sprays. As long as the motor doesn't get like submerged in water, these things are, are easy to wash off and they can resist rain and stuff. So the 750 watt brushless geared hub motor provides unbeatable power and performance. Up to 90 Newton meters of torque, quick and stable processing. It's highly durable. So that's the motor, 750 watt geared hub motor. So back here, let's take a look at the drivetrain. So we've got a Shimano seven speed freewheel. So it's 11 tooth, 28 teeth, it's seven speeds. So we've got a Shimano seven speed derailleur down here that allows us to shift through the gears on our drivetrain. And then up here, finally, we've got the Shimano seven speed shifter on the bars up here. So that is the drivetrain on the Cheetah. So we've got seven gears that we can shift through and that allows us to get around out here because a lot of e-bikes, they, they're kind of like single speed and you only have one gear to pedal in and it can be very hard to pedal up hills and stuff. So that's one thing that I like about the Cheetah is it's got all those gears that allows us to get around on these rugged trails. The Cheetah's battery system. The base option was just a 48 volt, 16 amp hour battery. And then there's also a dual battery option, which is 25 amp hour. And so that's what I have on my Cheetah is the 25 amp hour dual battery setup. My recommendation is if you're gonna buy the Cheetah, I would take advantage of the dual battery setup and I'd probably go with that. Okay, so I'll show you my Cheetah. We've got the dual battery setup on this. We've got an integrated battery inside of here, right? We can see down here, it says, 48 volts, 16 amp hours on this one. So that is 768 watt hours. So there's the information there, some labels and stuff. So this is 48 volts, 16 amp hours. And then this one is 48 volts, nine amp hours. So that adds up to 25 amp hours of total battery capacity that we've got on the Cheetah. So that gives me the confidence that I need to go riding for a long distance. I'm not gonna have to worry about getting stuck. So these dual batteries, they've got long lasting performance and efficient, and you can enjoy three years of free battery replacement for the, these batteries. And that ensures your peace of mind and worry-free riding. So I think that's great that Hao Chi has a three year free battery replacement plan. The estimated range is 65 to 85 miles per charge. And then so up here on the LCD display, I can clearly see the display in the sun. 
it's like it's the middle of the day and i can see this very nicely you can change the backlight levels there's three different levels of backlight levels that you can go through in the settings so it's an lcd display it's backlit so this is real-time data on speed mileage power and more okay so then it gives us the battery capacity indicator at the top we've got an odometer we've got the trip meter which is what i can currently see on there got the speedometer which we always want so there's a watt readout so that's the power readout okay so that's the display it's called the gd06 display and then the control panel is over here it's got an up button an m button and a down button right and so to turn the cheetah on you just press that m button you hold it down for a few seconds and then the cheetah turns on display will turn on you can see everything right there and then you can use the arrows up and down to increase the pedal assist levels up and down. By default, the Cheetah has five pedal assist levels. You can change the number of pedal assist levels in the settings. You can do three pedal assist levels, five pedal assist levels, and nine pedal assist levels. And I have a separate video on the Cheetah settings that I'll link in the description that goes through all of the parameter settings, also known as P settings. So you can learn about all of those and what those do and which settings you can change inside of the display on the Cheetah. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the front of the bike. It's a good looking bike, boys. It's a good looking bike. I love how it looks. I love how the Cheetah looks. It's a really fun bike. Like I said, I've been riding it around for almost 350 miles and it's a great bike guys let's keep looking at it let's get through these stats so we can ride around so so the cheetah like i said cheetah has full suspension okay so we've got rear suspension back here right we've got the rear cantilever suspension so the whole back of the bike when you're hitting bumpy stuff it's going up and down and it's gonna be super comfortable and plush take a look at that nice and nice and closely let's take a look at that rear suspension wow so it says a8 um it says it's an 850 pound coil spring back there so we've got full suspension on this cheetah and it's got 50 millimeters of travel okay and then we've also got that front suspension fork look at the stanchions on that baby so that's like a oh so that's like an xho xo I'm not sure how you say that but and then I just freshly oiled up the stanchions a little bit before I set out. So it's quick release down here. We've got a quick release front wheel on this baby. This is the charger. It takes six to nine hours to charge. On the website, it says it's a three amp smart charger. But the, the charger that I got, when I look at the back of it, it actually says two amps. So I think it's either a two or a three amp charger. It should take like six to nine hours to charge. So to calculate that charging time, it's just the amp hours of the battery divided by the amp hours of the charger. And that's how many hours it's going to take to charge it. So the Cheetah weighs 77 pounds with the single battery or it weighs 83 pounds with the dual battery package. The recommended rider heights are five and a half feet to 6.8 feet. So you want to be at least five and a half feet tall to ride the Cheetah. And then the total payload capacity on the Cheetah is 400 pounds okay so the cheetah it's got a 400 pound payload capacity let's take a look at the components on the bars up here before we set out the cockpit so we've got half twist throttle very comfortable i like so the pedals these are alloy pedals with reflectors okay then the saddle we've got a soft saddle and this saddle i actually like the saddle like i don't think i'll have to replace this really it's a it's a comfortable saddle that comes on the bike. So I appreciate that how Chi put a comfortable saddle on the bike. The handlebars are premium ergonomic handlebars. The bike frame is 6061 aluminum, okay? So it's a nice strong frame, nice and thick, nice and strong, durable. So there's a heavy duty aluminum kickstand that I'm taking advantage of right now that holds the Chi up nicely. The seat post diameter is 30.4 millimeters. The length is 300 millimeters. It's got steel spokes. 
I'll put the geometry on the screen from the How Chi website. So you guys can pause that quick if you're interested in that. And finally, guys, the Cheetah comes decked out with accessories. So we've got a rear fender. We've got a front fender. Front and rear fenders. Okay. We've got a rear rack. We've got a headlight. We've got a tail light that is also a brake light. Okay. It's kind of bright out right now, but this tail light, it's it's nice. It keeps you safe at night. I was riding this thing around on Fourth of July, and the the tail lights, I believe, were the only reason that I am still alive. All right, guys. Hey, just as I was standing here, one thing I don't know if I showed you yet. You hold down this up button on the controls, press up, and hold it down for a few seconds, and then that that turns on the lights. Look at that. Wow. It's also a brake light back here. See look at this. Boop, 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 boop. Nice. Nice. I like that about the How Chi Cheetah. So the lights on this bike work really well. Here is the, here's the front headlight. Okay. And the fenders work really well. I've rode this thing in wetness, actually in rain. And I was nice and dry and the Cheetah is nice and waterproof and water resistant. So I didn't run into any problems getting the Cheetah fairly wet. So it's very nice, very nice. So we've got the Gemma hydraulic brakes. Check these guys out. So brake lever brake levers feel really good on the Gemmas. We've got calipers down here. The brake rotors are 180 millimeter brake rotors. Okay. So that's what we've got for the brakes. And so those work really well. I would say they work better than my Shimano. They work better than my Shimano MT210 brakes. So they're nice brakes. So we've also got the bell up here. Got a little bell up here that you can ring at people to alert them that you're approaching from behind. And then finally, we've got the Hao Chi e-bike mirrors that Hao Chi graciously provided so that while I'm riding on the streets, I'm gonna be nice and safe. And they work nicely. You, It's a two-piece thing that clamps on here so you don't have to take anything off of your bars to put these mirrors on. They sell them on both their website and Amazon, it looks like. And so I've been using these mirrors. Thanks, Hao Chi, for sending these mirrors over. They've been keeping me safe on the streets and they work really well. So if you need some mirrors for your e-bike, make sure you guys check out the Hao Chi e-bike mirrors. Hopefully you can see a profile of mirrors there. So they work nicely. All right, guys, so I think that is pretty much it for the specs and talking about the Cheetah and everything on here. It's an awesome bike. I like how it looks. This black color, I really like it. It's a little bit dirty right now. My apologies, Hao Chi. It's just like every street is under construction everywhere. So I got a little bit dirty riding it here in the gravel and stuff. So my apologies, but we're about to go get this thing very dirty out on the trails anywhere. We're at the Valley View mountain biking trail system here where we've got kind of an all-terrain course where we can take the Hao Chi Cheetah flagship e-bike around a mountain bike trail. And we're gonna see how this performs. We're gonna see how the rear suspension does, the front suspension as well. We're gonna see how these dual batteries hold up. We're gonna see how that 750 watt geared hub motor in the back gets me around out on this trail. All right guys, so let's get on there. Let's take this thing for a rip. Do and this. Let's get on the Cheetah and let's do the Valley View mountain biking course. So I just found this place recently and it's super fun. Okay, so another thing, one quick thing before we get started. So the Cheetah, it comes as a class two bike, but you can switch it to class three, 28 miles an hour mode by what you have to do is when the bike is turned on, but the bike is not moving zero miles an hour, you toggle the brake levers five times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So now I've got the kickstand down. I can pick up the Cheetah's rear wheel using the kickstand to hold it up. Then if I hit the throttle, <clears throat> You can see that the speed limit is limited. It says 21 miles an hour right now is what it's doing. So if we wait until the speed says zero miles an hour, and then I hit the brakes five times again, one, two, three, four, five, then I can hit the throttle. And now you can see we're getting the full class three. It was going 31 miles an hour unloaded right there. <clears throat> I have got the Cheetah going faster than 28. It does not seem to be limited hard at 28 you know if you're pedaling going down a hill something it seems like it can get going slightly faster than 28 i think it might be 30 or 31 is what the hard limit is but 
it's a pretty good bike. You know, it built it for a year. Comes as a class two bike, but you can unlock it to class three and it can go pretty quick. <clears throat> for 99% of my riding, uh, 28 miles an hour is fine. So let's get, let's get onto the course here. Let's get off here and check this out. <clears throat> All right, so here we are. Here we are, guys, a valley view. We've got the trail map over there, trail rules and etiquette. There's a sign, pretty cool place. Let's get that picture. Let's get that thumbnail, boys, there it is. Nice. All right, here we go. Let's ride the cheetah. So I've got a pedal assist five, boys. We're gonna ride around to Valley View, have some fun. Oh yeah. So let's first, let's just get our bearings here. It's a hot day. So this, first of all, the first thing I'm noticing on the trail is that the Cheetah's half twist throttle works very well and I can, I can gently modulate it and it I can deliver power in a very controlled fashion. I'm using the gamma brakes, feathering those gamma brakes to slow me down as I'm going around these corners. Let's pedal a little bit. Pedaling feels good. So when you start pedaling, um I would say there's a little bit of a delay before it kicks in, so let's starting now. I think it's based on the crank rotations, so if you've got it, if it's hard, like right now it's hard to pedal because I'm going up a hill. So that's just something to keep in mind is that it seems like to start the pedal assist, <clears throat> you've got to rotate the cranks about a good half of a turn or like a full turn to get the cheetah moving with pedal assist. I think that's kind of a safety feature just to make sure that like if you're at, if you're off of the bike and you actually hit the cranks and spin them it's not going to make the bike go forward. But so but like I was saying back to that throttle. I think the throttle is probably my preferred way to ride the cheetah around out here. And the throttle's power and its speed limit is based on the pedal assist level that you've got going. So if you want to like, if you want to kind of like slow it down a little bit, you can, oh, you can turn it down to zero, first of all. So you can turn pedal assist totally off. Let's turn it totally off. So now I'm just pedaling, okay? This is all me, we don't even have the motor going. So, if you're wondering, can you pedal the cheetah around on a trail without any power? I'm doing it. We're going up a hill here, so it's getting a little bit trickier. So I would say, ooh, if you're going pedal, if you're out of battery, I've got 30 pounds in my backpack, probably more, maybe even 40 pounds. So I've got a very heavy backpack on. I'm kind of on an adventure here. so. I would say it's kind of a heavy bike. It might be difficult to pedal when the battery completely dies, but like on flat, I can pedal it just fine, especially since it has those gears. So I'm putting it into pedal assist one here. Let's try pedal assist one. We'll just go around with this a little bit. So there's kind of good things about the throttle being tied to the pedal assist level. So it does give you a way where you can adjust the power of the throttle, right? So that's good. But then th there's also things about that that can be a disadvantage. I think the main disadvantage of that is that since the throttle power is tied to that pedal assist power, 
you I don't think that there's a way to make it so that the throttle gives you full power but then you can leave it on like pedal assist one which is actually like something that I might I was actually thinking about doing right here because it's kind of like I want pedal assist just to do a little bit of power and then <clears throat> I'll be pedaling and that can do most of everything but then when I need a little extra power it's nice having a throttle that gives you full power so I'm not sure I'll have to ask Hauchi if there's some way to config like reconfigure the bike in that way but I'm not I'm not sure that's one disadvantage of the way that the throttle being tied to pedal assist has that's one con to that let's keep ripping though we got a exciting part right here on a cheetah <clears throat> where I'm gonna try not to crash All right, that was pretty sweet. So I'm gonna bump up the power here. It does seem like you can just push the power up when you're hitting throttle and it'll kind of instantly boost it. So that's nice. I appreciate that because I was saying it, it's a little bit of a disadvantage that the throttle is tied to the pedal assist level, but you can just quickly hit the up button five times, put it into pedal assist five, and you don't even need to release the throttle. It just gives you more power. So. It's fairly easy, so it's fairly easy to adjust the power on the cheetah. So it's a good thing I had full suspension right there. Oh, the end right there. And it's a good thing that we have fat tires. All right, guys, I just had to stop quickly to take a drink of a beverage. However, the one thing that is not stopping is the cheetah. It knows no bounds. Its thirst for adventure is unmatched. Here we go. Let's keep going. So far, the cheetah feels at home on this trail. Now we're going through a bit of a grassy section where I crashed the other day, we might actually be able to see, we might actually be able to see like the holes in the ground where I crashed, let's see. I think it was right over here. I was on my other bike, my dual hull motor fat bike, and I think I crashed over here somewhere. Uh, I crashed over there somewhere. It's pretty funny. So the cheetah's getting around through this stuff nicely. It feels nice and smooth. Oh, even oh, even when you go off the trail. One thing I didn't mention is the one thing I didn't mention at the beginning is the cheetah has a 23 amp controller she got off that that was like a little baby hill contest boys that she got off that just just fine nice nice she's really getting around out here i'm unhindered by rugged terrain and challenging environments while riding the how chi cheetah Oh yeah, those, those big old knobby fat tires, buddy. They're getting me around out here. Here we go, boys. <laughs> We're getting into it. <laughs> Make sure the GoPro's going.
So that was intense, boys. That was a high intensity section. So there's a little bit of mud right here. We're still going. GoPro's still going. Cheetah's still going. Whoa. The cheetah. This wants to go, buddy. Here we go. Second half, of course. Whoa, a little bit of mud. Fat tires maintained traction nicely. Oh. The cheetah feels perfectly at home in nature, boys. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. That's a cool little bridge. I like that bit. Oh. Look at this, boys. We just gotta stop for a moment and admire the unparalleled nature that we're surrounded by right now. I don't know how Chi Cheetah. Let's keep going. We've gone. 14 miles, the battery is still, I'm still reading. There's one bar gone on the battery. We're really getting around out here on these fat tires, boys. I think the Cheetah has probably navigated the trail best out of all my bikes so far. The traction with these fat tires is unmatched, even in the mud. Oh, tight bit right here. Oh, so cheetah handlebars. They cleared the tree test. Nice. Good going, Cheetah. You passed the handlebar tree test at Valley View. Oh. So I think the handlebars on the Cheetah might be designed a little bit more for commuting, but. I'm getting around out here just fine with them. I might consider putting like some mountain bike bars on here, some different, oh, some different bars if I want to ride the cheetah around in these kind of environments. But these are the handlebars that come on the bike. And so far we're getting around nicely. I think we had full suspension right there. Holy buckets. Oh! And it's a good thing we had front suspension right there, boys. Nice. So what do you guys think? Leave a comment. How is the, cha the How Chi Cheetah navigating the Valley View mountain bike trail? Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe. Man, got a little bit carried away there myself. All right, here we go. So this is the part where, oh, there's a good thing we got some gears that we can shift through and I can actually pedal. Because if you had like a moped style thing with a single speed right there, you would have had to push it. So the Cheetah, it's it's really a rugged, multi-purpose, multi-use vehicle because 
thing it's 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 got the fenders it's got the lights it's got all those features that you'd want for cruising the throttle but we've also got the big fat tires we've got full suspension dual batteries we can go out on the trails and on the streets oh we can do it all on the cheetah So the cheetah, it just keeps on going, boys. Just keeps on going. You don't gotta worry about the cheetah slowing down until the battery is like completely dead. And it does a great job of that, by the way. When the cheetah's battery gets low, ooh, when the cheetah's battery gets low, at about two bars, like one or two battery bars, the cheetah's display, it'll start throttling the power. Alright guys, we're still going on the Cheetah. Cruising around Valley View. What a place to be. mud right there. Didn't even lose any traction. Do you guys see how the cheetah just kind of like sneaks around through the jungle? Oh. And nobody even knows it's there. I've still got my mirrors on. Maybe you want to fold those in a little bit when you hit the mountain biking trails, but we're still doing okay. So right here, we've got some, some climbing bits that we need to do on the cheetah. And so this is more of like a mountain biking trail, guys. But I just wanted to show you what the cheetah can do. I've been riding the cheetah for several hundred miles now, so I think I've probably put more miles on it than most reviewers do. Oh, Sandy back there. Good thing I had fat tires. That was, that was steep right there. I'm pedaling to help out a little bit, but she is doing most of the work. Good thing we have those gamma brakes on the cheetah <laughs> to slow me down there. So 
So it's a good thing the cheetah is so quick and nimble. Or else those mosquitoes would have just got me. Ooh. Ha. It's a good thing we got those fat tires, boys. <laughs> That's a cool section, big logs. That's a, little, that's a little maneuver that I learned the other day, doing that. What do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about Valley View? Let me know in the comments. That part is like very steep, <laughs> extremely steep. So, So guys, I probably wouldn't go taking the cheetah off any big, big crazy jumps or anything, but the cheetah gets around this top nicely. So when you're walking your bike through rocks like that, you wanna make sure that was a kickstand. I'll make sure the derailleur isn't scraping on things. All right, let's get this cheetah going. This part's steep there, very steep. Just give myself a little push, get going, no problem. So I came out here on my other bike the other day that doesn't have rear suspension and it was a much bumpier ride. Well, let's put it that way. Gotta be careful when there's like a big log or a rock or something that's passing by your drive side, the right side of your bike in the rear. Don't wanna smash up your derail. All right, guys, well, there it is. That's the Hao Chi Cheetah. And we just went ripping around at the Valley View mountain biking place, thingamajigger. Had a ton of fun. I'm thoroughly enjoying riding the cheetah around on these trails. It can get around no problem whatsoever. Thanks to those seven speeds back there in the drivetrain that we can shift through. We can help out pedaling. 
The Cheetah's doing most of the work. Don't get me wrong. The Cheetah is a powerful e-bike. We can put it in class two or class three mode. You can get the dual battery package, which I would highly recommend. It comes with the battery combiner that allows you to safely hook two batteries up to the bike together without worrying about the, the hazards and stuff that are involved. There's a component inside of the Cheetah battery combiner that allows you to combine those two batteries together safely and run dual batteries. So that's a feature of the Cheetah when you get the dual battery package, which I would highly recommend. And so I think what I'm going to do now, guys, is as long as I'm here, I'm going to ride the Cheetah around and I'm just going to kind of focus on riding this time. Like we're just going to go ripping around and have some fun. So let's just go ripping around one more time, having some fun. Going to let the GoPro cool down, take a breather, get back to the beginning, go for another rip on it. Lap two. Nice. Here we go. Just had to throw something in the recycling. Oh. That was a lot of loose stuff on the ground right there, buddy. All right, like, let's get back to it, boys. We're at the Valley View Mountain Biking Trail Place. Cheetah just get off that cur Cheetah just got up that curb gracefully. Here we are. We're going back in. So I'm just, I'm having so much fun on the cheetah guys. I gotta come out for a second lap here. As long as I'm here, as long as I'm here, it's a beautiful day. We're having fun. Oh, and the cheetah is just, the cheetah truly is remarkable. Who would have thought the cheetah can traverse such rugged and challenging terrains, unhindered by obstacles, hills, bumps. It truly knows no bounds. The gamma breaks. Allow me to go around those corners nicely and get through the trees. I can't wait for the wall ride section. That's the fun part. Cheetah. Gamma brakes saved my life there. And there's a little bit of a climb there. Just stand up, pedal a little bit. No problem. Took a little bit of a digger there, boys. Holy buckets. All right. I think I laid it down in such a way where we should be all good. Let's see here. Huh? 
you gotta be careful when you're out riding boys i got a helmet on and i am i am experienced in doing these things <laughs> so this is also a durability durability chest of the cheetah all right so what happened here was the the wheel came like so the fender got a little bent out of place the fender didn't actually bend it's a nice plastic thing that's not gonna break so what happened was the uh the wheel just came out of alignment a little bit so i'll have to loosen the stem up or tighten the stem a little bit all right well i'm still kind of assessing the situation seems like everything's okay um I guess maybe I should just do a quick check, make sure I didn't drop anything here. Seems like, seems like we got everything. All right. Well, boys, better me than you, right? But I mean, look at the cheetah, look at the cheetah. After all that, like, I would have thought that my brand new derailleur would have just got messed up. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see, are we still, are we still pedaling fine? Yeah, we're still going. Are we still going? We're all good. <laughs> we're all good, boys. All right. We gotta get out of this sun, it's super hot. Let's, uh... So if this happens to you and your bars come out of alignment with the wheel, we gotta tighten up my stem and stuff, but I just wanna gently ride the cheetah to a spot that's in the shade. Okay. So, we're still pedaling. We're still getting around out here, boys. I mean, me and the cheetah took a bit of a tumble there, but it seems like everything's all right. I'm gonna tighten up the, the stem and stuff. Just, ooh, as soon as we get into the woods somewhere, out of the sun. Okay, so if something like that happens and you crash, you just want to make sure, like make sure that both of your brakes, the hydraulic brakes, like those hoses inside of here, the bars got twisted and that hose kind of got twisted. So, but the hose is still working, nothing broke with the brakes, like both the brakes are working, you want to make sure that that's good. You want to make sure that your stem bolts, if, if the wheel comes out of alignment with your bars and it gets twisted a little bit from when it falls down, you just want to tighten up these, get it straightened out, and then tighten up these stem bolts and then the top cap bolt. And make sure that your bars are secure. So, use your little quick tool or whatever you gotta do. Guys, so we are, we're at seven battery bars. We've gone 17 miles, several of which have been on a trail. Tricky trail miles. All right. So let's keep ripping. Let's get back. Let's get out of here. It's as much fun as I'm having. My, I'm, I'm hindered by my human limitations on this hot day. So perhaps later I can take the cheetah out for another ride because it has dual batteries. The cheetah, the cheetah still has plenty of juice left. She is still gone. It's just my human limitations that are 
that are slowing me down today, boys. You don't have to worry about the cheetah slowing you down. Unless the battery goes dead. But that can be said for any e-bike, right? So I, I make sure you leave a comment. What do you guys think? What do you think about this how chi cheetah on the trail? What kind of modifications would you make to the bike if you were gonna ride it on trails like this? I think it's perfectly capable, as I've demonstrated while riding it around today. I'd maybe change the handlebars a little bit. Maybe change the handlebars a little bit. But I think this, I think the, that the Cheetah comes with these bars and they're more comfortable for just general purpose all around riding. And that's probably, that's probably a good idea. Because not, not everybody is gonna be riding their cheetah on trails like this. I guess I can turn the lights off. Well guys, I think I'm gonna ride the cheetah back down the streets back home. It's been a fun time out of Valley View. All right guys. Check it out, we're, we're celebrating 250 miles on the Hao Chi Chiba, ripping around. It's a beautiful day. fun on the Hao Chi Cheetah today. Thanks Hao Chi for sending the cheetah over for me to test out and make some content with and do a collaboration. I had so much fun today riding on that trail guys at Valley View. Make sure you like and subscribe. Check the description for links to the cheetah and all of the stuff that you might need for riding the cheetah. The accessories and all that kind of stuff. Look at the description. I'll have all the links down there and links to my other videos of the cheetah. Stay tuned for more content. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time. Peace out. And just for your information, guys, on that ride, we went 32.9 miles. And I still got back. I've got one battery bar remaining here. So 33 miles today on the Cheetah. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Peace out.